doing some exploring around with the dinghy. We left Edith Harbor and went to a little chain of islands. The biggest island here is Prince Libu. After sort of exploring around, looking through some shallow areas, we decided to come to this big sandy beach that we're at now. And just as we were about to land the dinghy, there was a wolf on the ridge behind us. So we thought, well, we better hold back, see what he's up to. Then he ran towards us, not really fast. So you need to worry about it? Yeah, let's go back a little bit. We started rowing back out and he uh, stopped, and then he went the other way. The tide's coming in super fast, and the sand is really soft, so it's hard to walk the dinghy up the beach. So we're just sort of taking our time to get it up a little higher, and then we'll do a little exploring and keep our eyes open for any more wolves. So we've been wandering around the beach since we got here and trying to find out how close this wolf came to us and we discovered it was actually pretty close. <laughs> so uh, here's some of his tracks here and we found the spot where he decided to turn around which is just over here uh, to head back the other direction. The tides come in a bit so we were further out but the dinghy is probably 50 feet behind. It was pretty close, but they don't want a confrontation with us. And he was on his own, on his own, so. Anyways, pretty cool to find all these tracks.
sand is really neat and there's all sorts of patterns in the sand and then I noticed that tucked away under the trees and sort of attached to almost looks like the branches of a tree that's fallen over is some pretty old rope and the knots are still intact there's at least three of them one two three and they've been wrapped around these tree branches and then maybe the tree fell over but the rope's been here and the water and wind have come into it and there's there's some little shells that have attached their way into it and it's pretty cool and it's just it's it's big it's uh it's two or three times um the size of my wrist looks like an old wooden cork. Um, so they go on the top of gill nets and nowadays they're, pl they're, uh, they're a plastic foam material, but these are made out of wood and they, it looks like it's been split apart, but usually a rope goes through here and then it sits at the top of the net and bobs underwater when fishing it. 